Hi, everybody. Alexia and I welcome you to our podcast. And as you know, we had a great series on Women's History Month, great women in medicine and science who made major breakthroughs. We covered a gamut of, from uh, Artemis Omopopoulos, who discovered the omega-3, to Candace Peart, who discovered the endorphins, to Rosalind Franklin, DNA, that's about as big as you can get, and Dr. Levi, uh, Rita Levi Montalcini, who worked on the brain and its growth factors. Well, today we have another rock star. Her name is Dr. Marion Diamond, and she was also one of the all-time greats, a pioneer on the brain. Her background was for over 50 years, and I believe close to 60, she was professor of uh, neuroanatomy at University of California at Berkeley. And she was so great that they even bestowed the honor of her to work on Albert Einstein's brain. <laughs> okay. And I could personally relate to uh, the work that Dr. Marion Diamond did because for about six months, over 50 years ago, I had to teach medical students brain function, but she was in a class of her own. The real heart of it, in addition to Einstein's brain, is two things that she pioneered in, which today are major topics in medicine. Number one is neurogenesis, just what it says. The ability to make new brain cells, neurogenesis. And the second, which is a sister concept, is neuroplasticity. Once you make the new brain cells, well, then you could shape them, okay, for all sorts of good things in life. So she was a pioneer in those two areas. Let's just elaborate for one second. Neurogenesis, making of new brain cells. When I was in medical school, 1966, this was the dogma, this was the gospel, that the brain is fixed. You're born with a certain number of neurons, and after that, it's on the decline, okay. Now it's the opposite, is you could actually make new brain cells. And of course the term, you know, neurogenesis, okay. And then the second is once you make those brain cells, you could actually shape them just like a potter shapes clay on a wheel. You could shape the neurons for all sorts of beneficial results for new motor function, that means muscle, for new behavior, and even for new thinking thought patterns. Okay. So the cliche today, you know, when you fast forward is from the famous Canadian uh, psychologist, 1949, Dr. Hebbs, neurons which fire together, wire together, meaning the more you use that pathway, the more uh, powerful it becomes, the stronger it becomes, <laughs> okay? It literally becomes grooved. So Dr. Marianne Diamond is one of the all-time greats in medicine, especially with brain function, uh, and she pioneered in glial cells. Those are the supporting cells that she found in Albert Einstein's brain. And then of course, making new brain cells that revolutionized the whole ball game there. And then once you make the new brain cells, what do you do with them? You could actually make new pathways in the brain. So like we always do, we always check in with Alexia because she loves to help people and she loves to give practical pointers, especially to seniors. And if this isn't 
apropos for seniors, I don't know what. Neurogenesis, making new brain cells, seniors, hello, okay. And once you make those new brain cells is shaping them for new behaviors. You're never too old, okay? Those pathways could be done if you're 90 years old. So the first one, what Alexia likes to suggest is to make new brain cells, neurogenesis. It's simple, 20 minutes a day, aerobic exercise, and like Alexia says, a protein is released from your leg muscles, which goes through the blood-brain barrier, stimulates the stem cells to make new neurons. And guess where those new neurons go, seniors? Okay, to the memory area and to the thinking area. How many of us seniors could use that? And then the second thing, which Alexia says, is the neuroplasticity, okay, that once you got the new brain cells, well then, if you want to change any behavior, okay, behavior modification, Alexia says, habit formation. And the beauty of it is the more you groove that habit, the easier it becomes. So the first time when you start out, it may be just a little, but if you hang in there, it gets easier and easier and easier and easier. So thank Alexia for that. And we will look forward to seeing you tomorrow in a special new podcast. Alexia and I thank you and thank you so much for having us. Bye-bye.